I'm told that there are flash flood warnings for today. Of course, we got floods in our hearts, that's the problem. The flood of sensuality, the flood of views, the flood of ignorance. These things keep on pouring out, pouring out. They, you've probably heard the word asava, effluent or outflow. The problems don't come from outside, they come from within. So I have to look within. When you're running up against something from outside, okay, what is it that's running up against? What current is coming out of your mind? Look at that and see where the problem is and see what you can do about it. Otherwise, these currents just keep flowing and flowing and flowing. And as the Buddha said, there is no river like craving. It just keeps going. Other rivers in the world have times when they dry up and change course, but craving just keeps going and going and going for more and more suffering. That's what we've got to work on. So try to establish a, an island in the river. Like right now, you stay with the breath in and of itself. That's one of the ways you establish that island. These other things may come flowing past, flowing past, but just keep them at that level, i.e. flowing past, but you don't jump in with them. Otherwise you get crashed into the rapids or crashed into the waterfalls, and then you complain. Well, you're the one who jumps in the river, so stay with the breath in and of itself. Stay with your feelings in and of themselves. In other words, don't worry about what these things mean. Just look at what they're doing. We tend to identify with our feelings more than anything else. We have to learn how to step back from them and say, okay, these are fabricated too, just like everything else in the world. Otherwise you hang on to them and you decide, well, I really believe this, I really believe that. And that gets, gets you pulled down the river again. So try to stay right here so you're in a position where you can watch things as they're coming past. Now, occasionally something good comes flowing down the river. You pick it out of the river, but don't jump in. Because sometimes there are logs floating just below the surface and you don't see them. So stay on your island. Be right here with the breath. Fortunately, this is an island that has food. You don't have to go searching for food out in the river. You've got the, as John Lee says, you've got your four acres right here. You've got the properties of earth, water, wind, fire. You can turn those into concentration. You can turn whatever you've got right here into a good state of concentration, a good state of well-being and ease. So stay out of the river. And that's how you stay safe.